In this video tutorial, I'll show you why bubbles are on candy apples and how to make bubble free candy apples. So you can fill your pot halfway or a little under halfway with water. You have two tablespoons of baking soda. And I do not turn my countertop or stove on until I put all the ingredients in first. I have here one tablespoon of salt, and then I have one third a cup one third a cup of real lemon juice. And you can use real lemon or you can use the real lemon juice. You can purchase this from Walmart or your local grocery store. Now I turn the countertop on. So you just let this come to a boil and then you put your apples in the um, water six to seven seconds and then you take them out. You need to take off your apple stems, then place the apples in the water six to seven seconds. When you bring your apples out, use a paper towel to dry your apples down make sure you rotate your apples in the water to get a full coverage now take your apple out use a paper towel to dry your apple off after you dry your apple off you just set it to the side and continue to do the other apples. Make sure you wipe your apples down really good to get the wax off to prevent bubbles. You want bubble free candy apples. I am taking my stem off the apple and then I am placing the apple in the water with the spoon and rotate the apple all around for six to seven seconds. Then I bring it out. When you bring it out, make sure you have a paper towel to dry your apple down. You wanna make sure you get the wax off and you just repeat the process until you're done. So baking soda, lemon, and salt really gets the wax off pretty good. Um, another thing the lemon juice does to the apples is keep your apples green in the inside. So I really love using lemon juice. I am just repeating the process, rotating my apple in the water six to seven seconds. Use a paper towel to dry the apple off to get the wax off. Make sure you dry your apples off really good and make sure you wipe down really hard to get the wax off. So with the last three apples, I am only going to wipe these down one time and that's to get the apples out of the pot. I am not going to wipe them down again. So you can see the difference between wiping your apples and not wiping your apples down. So you can see how to prevent bubbles on your candy apples. Okay, so the apples on the left are the apples I am not going to wipe down again. The apples on the right will be the apples that I continue to wipe down during the 24 to 48 hour wait period. So during the 24 to 48 hours, I'm going to give it 48 hours. I am going to keep wiping the apples down. So I am going to wipe the apples down like this, probably like maybe every six hours.
Since I only have six medium to large apples, I am using the 431 No Thick Candy Apple Recipe. That's four cups of sugar, one cup of Cairo or light corn syrup, and three cups of water. Now, this recipe is going to only get you about six to eight apples. If you want to make 12 or 24 apples, look in the link below for those recipes. Okay, so I add my Wilton's White. You just want to drop it to a Wilton's White when you're using red. I have my Hobby Lobby Super Red Gel Food Coloring here. And you want to go ahead and drop about maybe four to five drops or a good drop of red. This is the color that I am trying to achieve. So I am going to put this on the stove until it reaches 300 degrees and then take it off and dip my apples. But I need to go ahead and add my butter vanilla that I also purchased from Hobby Lobby. And that's one and a half teaspoons. Um, you could do one to one and a half. It's up to you, your preference as far as flavor. You give it a stir and you get your candy thermometer and you want to make sure that you put this midway. You do not want your candy thermometer to touch the bottom of the pot and when it reaches 300 degrees you want to take it off the stove so i am going to wipe these three apples down again because these are the apples that i want to make perfect okay my candy has reached 300 degrees I am going to dip the first three apples that I wiped the wax off and then the next three apples I am going to show you what happens when you don't wipe your apples down and get the wax off how bubbles form on your apples these are perfect apples and when I say scrape the bottom of your apple I am just talking about after you dip your apple you just take your candy apple and scrape on the side of the pot. Once you do that, you place it down on your silicone mat or your parchment paper. Okay, so my last three apples, I didn't wipe the wax down like I did the first three because I wanted to show you how bubbles are on your candy apples if you don't wipe your apples down. So I am just showing you how bubbles form on your candy apples. And even if you don't wipe the top of the apple where the straw is inserted, you will get bubbles on the top of your candy apples. And of course, you'll have bubbles on the side of your candy apple if you don't wipe your apples down really good during the 24 to 48 wait period. And see the bubbles? all over the apple you don't want your apples to look like this you want the perfect apple so when you don't wipe your apples good you get bubbles on your apples versus when you do wipe your apples down and get the wax off you have the perfect candy apples thank you so much for watching my channel make sure you hit that like subscribe and notification bell to keep updated with me and all of my videos on the weekends